A popular antenna used by low band HF DXs is the half square, which comprises a wavelength of wire, a quarter wave one side, going across a half wave and then down a quarter wave. I've described the half square in a previous video and had good results with DX on 20 meters. A variant of that, if you've got a bit more space, is the so-called bobtail. The feed point of this antenna is right in the middle. It's quite a large antenna and only if you've got a large yard do you have room to put it up. But on VHF and UHF, then you can make your antennas much smaller. This for example is a bobtail for 70 centimetres or 432 megahertz. The same dimensions as before, quarter wavelength, half a wavelength, another quarter wavelength, half a wavelength and a quarter wavelength. The feed point in the middle with the centre conductor going to this vertical element and the outer conductor of the coax connector going to the rest, which is basically shaped like a letter C. That's really easy to build. You could actually use a single bit of metal for this C-shaped element, with another bit for the centre element. Just following the longest piece, this is a whole wavelength of wire. The vertical bit is a quarter wavelength, across a half wavelength, and at this point the antenna connector is connected, another half wavelength, and then dropping down to another quarter wavelength. In the middle is a quarter wavelength. The outer part of the antenna socket goes to the midpoint of the long bit, and the inner of the antenna socket goes to the short quarter wavelength section in the middle. At the end of my street is this open space, and in it a very convenient mound. That places us in the clear for antenna experiments. About 60 kilometres from us is this beacon, VK3 RGL on Mount Anarchy. That will provide a signal reference. This is the reference antenna, a half wave dipole in use. Now we'll switch to the bobtail and see if the signal's any better. Move the antenna around and the signal sharply drops. When you look at the antenna this way, it looks a bit like a very wide space Yagi that's been cut in half straight down the boom. But the behavior is very different. When you aim it like this and the beacon is in that direction, the signal level is very low, but like this, it's nice and strong. We're back on the dipole, and as you can hear, the signal is significantly weaker. A bobtail antenna like this is super simple to build, yet provides worthwhile bi-directional gain on VHF. It's suitable for SSB work, horizontally polarised, if it's erected like this, or for FM and repeaters like this, where it will give a vertically polarised signal. There's a useful design on ZS1AN's website, where construction information is provided for a bobtail antenna on two metres. 